Good morning. Psalm 118, verse 13. He's surrounded, he said, like bees with his enemies are all around on every side. In the name of the Lord, he cut them off. And then we get verse 13. I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. Some of you listening this morning have been pushed hard. Actually, the Hebrew, the word daho, daho, is doubled up. And it's, it's, here's what he's saying. I was pushed and pushed so that I was falling. You ever felt pushed and pushed? Pushed to my limits. Feel like you can't take anymore. Life has become so difficult. He says, I was pushed and pushed so that I was falling. But the Lord helped me. The Lord helped me. Um, Psalm 35, 5 uses this same Hebrew term. Uh, let them be like chaff before the wind with the angel of the Lord, driving them away. Psalm 36, 12. There the evildoers lie fallen. They are thrust down, unable to rise. You get the sense of pushed down, tamped down, beat down again and again and again and again and again. again. Pushed down. Um, affliction here as I feel pushed and pushed I felt like I was falling but the Lord helped me it has a purpose God presses you and I to our limits don't forget this to expose the edges of our capacity leading us to depend on him pushes us to the edge of our limits exposing our capacity so that we will depend upon him right so with that in mind I want to read you something from John Calvin Calvin comments on Psalm 118. And as he comments, he says, I'm going to read you a couple of brief sections. The main thing in adversity, Calvin wrote, is to know that we are laid low by the hand of God and that this is the way that he takes to prove our allegiance, to arouse us from our torpidity, to crucify our old man, to purge us from our filthiness, to bring us into submission and subjection to God, and to excite us to meditate on the heavenly life. Later, he describes afflictions this way, afflictions as God's rods. God's rods. God is using the rods to discipline us. It's loving. It's a father disciplining a son whom he receives, to quote the author of Hebrews. He concludes and says, in the end, it will be shown that his chastisements, so far from being deadly, serve the purpose of a medicine which though it produce a temporary debility, rids us of our malady and renders us healthy and vigorous. What a great picture. Don't forget that in the midst when you're pushed and pushed to your limits. That the pushing might be God's rod to teach you his chastisements that are a medicine to heal you. Take encouragement in that today. Take care.